<laughs> hey guys, I hope you're well. Um, today we're playing something a bit different. Um, with the recent release of Reaper of Souls, I thought I'll just show you guys the uh, build I'm just using to level up and get my gear. As you can see, I'm not uh, running anything too special. Currently, I'm just farming um, normal adventure mode just to get my toughness and healing up to what it needs to be. Um, I can do torment. I just need to uh, farm a bit more survivability, basically. Um, obviously, I'm a demon hunter, um, so I'll just go through the skills that I use um, at the moment. Um, for my primary uh, ability, um, obviously I've got elective mode on so I can put any skills in any slot. I've got entangling shot, um, but I've got the shot color rune on it. Um, this is the only the only reason I've got this is because of my belt. Um, it increases lightning damage skills by 15%, and I, my HE regen is already pretty good, so it's okay. Um, so that's the only reason I've got that. Um, if I wasn't using that one, I would use Justice Serve just for the extra hatred regeneration, which doubles the hatred regeneration that you get by using that ability. So that's a good point to have. Um, the is my main damaging ability, which is Cluster Arrow, with loaded for Bear on, um, which is increases the damage at the impact point. This is my big damage ability, um, hits in the millions, um, and it can spam quite a lot. Um, uh, for this one, the next ability it's Vault um, with Tumble, which obviously reduces the spin cost if you vault immediately again after landing. So it means you can vault twice and not have the cost. Uh, this is a great move to get away, obviously, from elite packs and things like that, and it keeps you alive. Uh, the next ability is Smoke Screen uh, with Healing Vapors on, so it heals me uh, briefly uh, while I'm inv invisible, uh, which is obviously really good to get some life back if I don't have my hey, wake up. health potion on. So that costs 14 discipline to do. Um, so that's a good spell as another defensive, normally just uh, smoke screen and vault away. Uh, the next ability is uh, Companion. It is my back companion, obviously it instantly restores hatred and it's also it's passive as well. It gives me um, increased hatred regeneration, which is really good for a demon hunter because that's our basically um, offensive ability resource. Um, the last one I use is uh, vengeance with um, personal mortar on because I'm using a grenade sort of base build as well um, with the lightning off side um, it goes pretty well with it and it basically just spams grenades and obviously it does more with one of my passives as well um, so the passive skills that I'm using at the moment are color of the weak which is increased damage against slow enemies by 20% which comes off my entangling shot the next one that I use is Grenadier, uh, which increases the damage of the grenades and increases the explosion size, so it obviously does more damage at a bigger radius. Uh, the next one is 40% additional damage to enemies above 75% health. This is a really good passive for shredding elites and uh, mobs with a big health pool. And the last one I use is Sharpshooter, which obviously gives me crit and crit um, stacking until I use it. Um, and that one is good, obviously, so it gives you a nice big crit at the start of fights. However, there's a lot of options for more survivability if you're looking to do more survivability in your uh, passive skill trees. Uh, Blood Vengeance is a good one to pick up if you need some more survivability, as well as Night Stalker. Because um, obviously that replenishes your defensive um, resource. If there's anything else you uh, guys want to know about this Demon Hunter build, then I'll keep you up to date if I change it or anything like that. Uh, let me know and I'll. Uh, answer in the comments or private message me I can get back to you as quick as possible. I hope this uh, video helps you guys and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace!